My name is Leslie Hawthorne and I'm currently on the Community Action and uh, Impact segment of the Open Source and Standards team at Red Hat. Uh, I work in the community management space and I've been involved in the open source uh, community for about six years now as a community manager and I've been a happy user of FOSS for about ten years. So uh, my topic was cultivating community, how to make your project blossom. And we talked a bit about uh, what community is, what community isn't, uh, how to look at your community through the lens of a community as a garden. So a group of disparate uh, plants or disparate people uh, who come together to make uh, a beautiful whole that is uh, self-supporting and self-sustaining. So, um, And then also best practices sort of through the lens of uh, community as garden. So things like uh, making sure that you well define your landscape to make sure that it's clear to people um, how you've structured your project, what your goals are, what you're trying to achieve, and what they can expect if they come into your community and would like to contribute. Um, and then I think that my other favorite point for my talk is uh, talking about the uh, importance of plucking out your weeds in your garden, making sure that you keep your community healthy and happy by uh, encouraging folks who may not be uh, well aligned with your mission and goals to seek, uh, seek their quest elsewhere. Uh, so my opinion on big data is probably not as nuanced as a lot of the other folks here since I'm not an engineer. Uh, but generally speaking, I think it's, we're living in very exciting times now, right? There is so much more data being generated by folks and being able to, to use that data to make the world a better place I think is incredibly compelling. Um, you know, what Twitter's getting like 400 million tweets a day, we're able to model things like spread of disease, we're able to model things like um, climate change, we're able to model all kinds of information which before was largely you know, done by researchers with, a, with very small sets of data and now we're able to get much more conclusive proofs of you know, changes that are happening in our wider world and, and then using that information to make better decisions for policy and for you know, all of our users and developers and our projects as well. So Red Hat is involved in the big data ecosystem both through their sponsorship of the Gluster project. Um, Gluster is both a community and uh, a product and uh, Gluster was acquired by Red Hat late last year and so um, now uh, the Gluster code base is uh, presented to the world as Red Hat Enterprise Storage. So uh, we find that users are really excited about Gluster for um, being able to sort of tame their unstructured big data. Um, there aren't ones that I am, am particularly uh, excited about uh, in specific, but I know that there are a lot of folks who are doing some really compelling work here. Uh, I have to give a shout out to the Cloudera folks just because I know some of their founders. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not necessarily the world's biggest expert on big data. Um, there's a lot of things. Um, this is an incredibly vibrant community. I've, I've had more uh, interesting talks in the hallway track than I've had at conferences two or three times this size. Um, everyone is very welcoming. Um, everyone is really passionate about what they're working on. Um, you know, you can overhear various conversations going on of people like really getting down into it, and, like just switching laptops back and forth and saying, no, no, it's like this, no, no, it's like this. So this is a really great place to come if you really actually want to learn something and be very hands-on um, in your particular topic area. And uh, Berlin is a great city. This is my first time here. This is actually my first time in Germany, so really beautiful place to be. And um, folks are just super passionate here, which is great. So often uh, I go to uh, larger conferences, and it's much more focused on kind of um, the day rigor of business, which is very important. But this is much more feels much more community oriented, much more grassroots. Very, very opening and welcoming. Um, I think that we're just going to keep seeing more and more um, compelling use cases for understanding um, human behavior and um, also like scientific data, biological data, etc. Um, my own personal passion, as I was talking about, like you know, hey, community is a garden, right? So as you you know can imagine, I really am excited about stuff that has to do with plants, and there is an unbelievable amount of data on biological data on plants and on. Um, botany in general that right now is is just kind of sitting on uh, 
uh, computers under people's desks at universities and isn't being very widely used. So what I'm hoping that we'll see with the big data movement is all that data is going to be collected, it's going to be aggregated, it's going to be much more widely useful for the world. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, beautiful city, you get treated really well and you get to talk to a bunch of really cool people who are really excited about what you're talking about and who come up and ask you great questions and really want to learn from you, so you should totally be here. <laughs>